This is uh this is the final area. Okay. I, to, I gotta right. I gotta right. I gotta kill all the Metroids and then kill I think it's Mother Brain and then escape. Okay. Is Mother Brain just a little girl that has a clip that oh, says M B on it? Uh, I'm not answering that. <laughs> Alright, let's go! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, it's a Metroid. Already. It is. I think this is the Metroid room. Oh no, it's not the Metroid room. It's playing oh, it's playing the music. This uh -oh. is the Metroid room. Uh oh. Oh, oh, a Metroid. Oh, a Metroid. <laughs> oh, he's flying. <laughs> <laughs> That's so nasty. So they don't <laughs> they don't suck you. They don't suck me, but uh, they do fly after you. Me, whatever. Right. They oh, expose their underbellies. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> expose That's themselves what they to say. you. <laughs> oh, I see you. <laughs> I kind of want to remake the Metroid. Looking at these guys. Remake. Oh, the Metroid. Yeah, for your cosplay. Yeah, so cool. I made the baby. The baby. <laughs> Make him again. You're not gonna do. <laughs> you're not gonna do a cosplay of uh, the baby. Mother brain, the baby mother brain. <laughs> mother brain with the MB pin. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I wonder if anyone cared about that game enough to like do that. Oh, I see one. <laughs> oh, I'm sure they did. I mean, you think so? If there is a character, it's been cosplayed at least oh. once. <laughs> Interesting. Especially from a popular game like that. At least once. Come here. Come here. I mean, I doubt Alundro was ever cosplayed. Alundro? Alundro. Oh, the game. Right, right, right. He, he, <laughs> Zelda he, clone. It's that forgettable. <laughs> you tell me about it. And I really forget about it. So. I showed you it before, and you were all like, whoa, this looks so cool. I want to try this. Mm -hmm. Now you're like, what? <laughs> What is it? <laughs> it's a Lundra! <laughs> okay. How do I get in there? Hmm? How do I get in there? I don't know. I don't know. It's a mystery. Shoot. Reveal shoot, shoot, to shoot, me thanks. your secrets. <laughs> shoot things. <laughs> shoot <Sam>. things. <laughs> Not everything can be solved by shooting. Oh, here we go. There we go. Oh, push the button. Oh, there we go. That did a lot. <laughs> hey! <laughs> oh, exposed Metroids! They're gonna expose themselves. <laughs> it should be ashamed. <laughs> Shoot him! Get him! I can oh, tell he's, you. He's hiding. He's hiding. He's. Yeah, he's scared. He's a frozen microwave dinner. I was looking for your. <laughs> I was looking. <laughs> I was looking for your uh, oh, macaroni oh. Uh, macaroni pizza. You didn't see I it. I didn't find it. No. Yeah, it's it's a it's crazy. I only see it at tops. Oh. <laughs> Ding. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> at oh, my local to... tops market. <laughs> Ding. <laughs> yeah, yeah, mac and cheese pizza. Yes, you heard right. <laughs> Maybe I should make it myself though. Like get one of those like bobbly pizza crusts. Oh and yeah. Just put mac and cheese on it. Call it a day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you're freaking me out. He's right there. He's right on my nose. On oh, my tailpipe. <laughs> okay. The, oh, what's this? Oh, I see what they did. Oh, that's cool. That's clever. So they can't. I think I opened. Oh, okay. Oh, there's another one. Is that so blood on the wall? Yes. <laughs> is that your blood? This, this is this is not uh, your grandfather's Metroid. I don't know. <laughs> so <laughs> because because of the way the dimension works, you know, in the original game, you can't you can't go to the last area until you kill all the Metroids. You got to kill all the Metroids to open up the final area. They yeah. can't do that with the Doom engine. So what they did instead was they pump a lot of Metroids into this room. Whoa! Pump a oh. lot of Metroids into the room. Yeah. 
And then uh well, he floats away when he turns <laughs> <up>. <laughs> They hide a bunch of switches, and so uh, you could you could ign and every time you flip a switch, like a gate opens that leads to the next switch, and also more uh, Metroids yes. come out. Of course. Which means you could ignore all the Metroids, but by the time you flip all the switches to get to the end, there's going to be tons of Metroids out. They're oh, evenly spaced. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. I already did the <laughs> those I Metroids. Did... They are evenly spaced. Can't be I mad did. at that. <laughs> <laughs> I did that switch. Okay. I'm so where's the new switch? switch? Maybe it's up here. This looks I did, pretty. I did this yeah. one. Oh, I thought there was a second one? one. Yeah. Huh? <sighs> Maybe it's over by the beginning. There's a lot of possible holes. There are a lot of holes. Oh. <laughs> Oh, go there stick, we go. Stick myself in all these holes. <laughs> Any new friends to play with? Um, no, they didn't come out. I think that's it. Oh. <laughs> They're done. They're done for the day. Okay. All right. Savey wavy, Davy. <laughs> that's why they call me. <laughs> they call me Savey wavy. All right. Here we all go. right. Okay. Oh my gosh, they Ooh, did that thing. Okay. All right. Whoa, is this like going up to Mother Brain? Oh man. Yes. Oh man. This oh is no. So clever. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, there she is. Oh, there she oh, is. No. Get <laughs> Where's my missiles? You, you all yet. <laughs> oh, I shoot myself in the face. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, she's not happy. Good. Good. <laughs> We're not here to make her happy. <laughs> Oh, oh, look at that she's big exposed. pulsating brain. She's supposed. She's posing <laughs> herself. Oh, there she goes. Oh, that happened a lot quicker than I thought it was going to. Are, the music's we on. Just... We got the music. Time oh, no. set. Yes. oh, you oh. know it. Oh no, here we go. Oh no. Oh, I slipped. <laughs> oh no. This is nightmarish. This is nightmare fuel. Go. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Where do I? Where do I go? I don't know. Oh no! Oh no! Hold we, got, on. we have a double jump. <laughs> oh, I gotta go. Oh, the clock's way. still on ticket. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Okay, okay, okay. I gotta calm down. <laughs> I hate when <laughs> times are set. I can't. I do love. <laughs> I love having you here. This is so great. <laughs> I don't like deadlines. <laughs> Come back down, I need you. Oh, oh no! How dare you say that? Oh my gosh. Oh my okay. god, okay, okay. All right. Okay, now what? Oh. I gotta go. Oh no. Up here. Oh, oh my goodness, we made it. Save the animals. <laughs> oh, uh, oh no. excuse me. Oh no! Is that it's it? Okay. <sighs> oh. <laughs> oh, no. I thought that was it. I thought we couldn't make it anymore. Okay. What do we got? Okay. What do we got? It's my ship. Oh my god! Oh my god! We're running out of time. <laughs> That's the whole Yay. game. Hey! Oh, you made it under par. <laughs> Did I? <laughs> Let's see. It just says time par. Oh, okay. Here we go. Well, it seems like you're making the par time or something. What? So What's most. What's happening? It's counting up how much time I spent in this game. So most, okay. most, most Doom levels, so this is based on the Doom engine, most Doom right. game levels are, the par is like two minutes, five minutes. Right. Okay. No, <laughs> we'll see. Three hours. Oh, oh, look at that. You're on your par. Oh, it's it? time for a sexy show, I think. Is she going to do it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see. <gasps> Shut oh. up. Oh, what? Great. You fulfilled your mission. It will revive peace in space, but it may be invaded by the other Metroid. Did they? <laughs> this is cheesy on purpose. Pray for a true Metroid. peace in space. Wow. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. I am so, like, I am. I'm. Yay! Congrats! Hey! I'm up here. Hey! hey! 
There she is. Zero Suit Samus. <laughs> There's your girl. <laughs> <laughs> the Justin Bailey, right? Yeah, that's it. Mm, there you go. Tech plant. I hate those guys. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, in... oh, there I, we I'll go. agree. <laughs> Party ball. So, uh, so yeah. Fish. Oh, this is cute. You get to see all the enemies in the game. <laughs> oh. Omega Metroid. <sighs> Whoa. Okay. Oh, oh, I need to. <laughs> wow. Fire flea. That's rough. More. They have to <laughs> die even in the credits. <laughs> well, so this is, uh, yeah. Like, it shows all of them dying. <laughs> so, once again, this is, uh, this is what the ending was in the original Doom game. It shows like, oh, okay. the ending just for fun. You get to see all the enemies, and you just you just tap the button on the mouse, and uh, it just shows the dying animation. It's kind of fun. So that's oh, what okay. Doing here. I hate these guys. Looks pretty badass. <laughs> <laughs> kick, kick, kick. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like lips. You ought to know by now. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I know that reference! Billy Joel! Yeah, that's all you I, think knew. All right. I get... It's the first time. Yeah, alright! <laughs> Security robot box. What do you think box stands for? Mm, looking pretty box-tastic there. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, he's not boxy. He's a wiggly one. <laughs> he's a wiggly. <laughs> The Alpha Metroid. He found a what helmet. What do? What is? Wait a minute. Why is he moving around as if? <laughs> That's so weird. Like, <laughs> it's like a turtle popping his shell off. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> Go yeah. On. Yeah. I don't know what's up with him. What is oh, this? Oh, just crappy enemy. Well, this okay. is goofy. Get out of here, crappy enemy. <laughs> hey! Oh, crap. Woo! That was so cool. Oh, I got goosebumps. I can't believe it. <laughs> bumps. I got goosebumps. I got, I got, I got man bumps. <laughs> Playing with Samus for so long, I got boob bumps. <laughs> goosebumps. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> that was so cool. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I'm sorry. It was, super uh, awesome. I learned a long time ago that I'm terrible at conversation while playing a video game but i loved hearing uh, i loved hearing you chat that's great thanks for <laughs> thanks for keeping me company as i ventured through my through zebus you might you my, uh you're not my man in the chair you're the the gal in the chair sure yeah why yeah. not <laughs> <laughs> why not i love talking to you so yeah why not i'll ramble at you and if you answer cool if you don't, I'm good to ramble for another <laughs> You're good, huh? I'm good. I can keep going. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So let's see. What did I do? Did I leave anything hanging? Metroid Prime 1 is one of the best games ever made. Metroid Prime 2 is... Okay. Uh, many people love it. Eh. I like the first one better. Okay. Metroid Prime 3 is pretty different and pretty fun, but... I think my only complaint, I think I was trying to think, what, what's the but? Why don't I play it more? The only but is, oh my gosh, the loading times are insane. Oh, that's a bummer. That's a big yeah. time bummer. Like I counted it once, trying to just waiting for a door to open. It was ridiculous. Ah. Uh, anyway, so yeah. When you uh, said the only but, though, I thought of pork butt. <laughs> pork butt. That's right. At your local grocery store, pork rub. <laughs> Gotta rub them cheeks. Spice them cheeks. <laughs> Get some spicy cheeks. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, Metroid Prime 4 was announced. It's oh, going to come it? out. Some, it was, they showed one. They showed uh, it, it was uh, many years ago now at one of the uh, Nintendo's big uh, events. They showed mm -hmm. a title screen. It's just oh. like Metroid Prime 4. Oh, nice. In development. <laughs> well, and, that's uh, exciting news, though. That's the only news we've had for many years now. And so I was super excited to find this. It's more Metroid Prime uh, while we wait. There you go. I love it. This I think this is my fifth time playing through it. Do oh. you think that um, 
Nintendo listens to the fans, or do you think that they tell the fans what they're supposed to be hyped about? Because I remember before Other M came out, like, I used to watch a lot of, like, E3 coverage and stuff like that, and Nintendo Direct coverage and that sort of stuff. And I remember that there'd be people, and they'd be like, oh, what do you think would win E3 for Nintendo? And they're like, well, maybe if they talk about a platforming Metroid. <laughs> Like, they, like, literally said, like, you know, like, a 2D Metroid again with lots of platforming and stuff. And, like, they, they made, like, they kept, like, hyping that up. And then, like, oh, it got announced. <laughs> what a, what a surprise. You know? Like, I, I feel like a lot of brainwashing happens, you know? <laughs> Just in general. I feel like, you know, like things that are hyped up might not even be things that are really hyped. It's just that the company tells you to be excited about these things. And then yeah. they're there, so you can be excited. <laughs> I'm not saying that's what happened with Metroid Prime 4, because I do think a lot of people are like Metroid Prime. But I'm just saying that, like, I don't know. It's just something I've noticed, right? I have trust issues. I think both things happen. <laughs> I think both things happen. I think, uh, well, I don't know. That's an interesting question. I think both things happen. You know, com com companies will make uh, small incremental uh, changes to existing products and, and you know, give the customers more of what they want. But then, uh, you know, listen to customers. But then other companies will just make these big changes and uh, tell the people what they want. I mean, Apple's the first company that comes to mind before they came right. out with the iPhone. I mean, iPhone was everything that the original iPhone had already existed, but uh, it was the first time like, what is it? They got rid of all the buttons. Phones just had so many buttons on them. And they're like, nah, it's going to be no buttons and you're going to love it. But I like my <laughs> button. No, no buttons. They're like, yeah. well, I like my headphone jack. They're like, no. <laughs> Nope. Yep. Nope. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't like I said, I don't I don't trust things anymore. It's like well, wouldn't it be great if this happened and you know, like, oh I guess so and I was like, Oh, guess what? It's happening. You know what also? I don't know if this is true because I haven't watched a lot of uh Nintendo stuff as much anymore. But I feel <laughs> like um since Awada died, like, I don't feel like I see the people behind Nintendo as much. I feel like when it was Reggie fils and Awada and stuff like that, like, you saw them, like, a lot. And yeah, they were very, were. like, you know, like, interactive with the fans and stuff. And I feel like you don't see that as much. Yeah, I know what you mean. Okay, so I'm not just, like, going crazy. <laughs> uh, yeah. No. I mean, at the same... I don't know. Like around the same time that the uh, the, tran the, the the transition happened, you know, with Reggie and Iwata, um, I don't think it was too long before the the pandemic stuff started. Right. And, uh, Nintendo's been moving away from E3 events and just doing their little what is it, Nintendo Nintendo Directs. So I don't know. Yeah. But I know what you mean. Yeah, it's not just you. Yeah. Maybe they were like, hey, wouldn't it be great if you didn't see us anymore? <laughs> and they hyped it up and they lied. <laughs> They're brainwashing us all. <laughs> like, no, I enjoyed seeing those things. That was another thing My you reminded me. ready. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. You reminded me. So in Metroid Prime 1, there's a very serious feeling of isolation. There is... Yeah, you don't see it. I mean, the closest thing to another person on... In Metroid Prime is, I think, well, the Space Pirates and Ridley, I guess, but that's it. In Metroid Prime 2, you meet uh, one guy. There's one guy, uh, he's uh, one of the native alien race guys on the planet. He's like a, he's a moth, like a humanoid moth. And it was weird. I remember when I met him in the game, I was like, whoa, another person on this planet. This is weird yeah. in the Metroid game. And right. then... Metroid Prime 3, there's a whole cast of characters. There's other bounty hunters, like right from the start. You're with a team of bounty hunters. There's 
the Galactic Federation, you work together with the with the uh, the leader of that and the other soldiers. Like there's people everywhere in that game. It's a really weird vibe. Or I'm sorry, different, really different vibe for Metroid. Right, yeah. I mean, I guess you got to I mean, even with the isolation, I guess you got to kind of assume that maybe Samus would have like other people that work in the same places. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I like, like they were they were there in the instruction manual even in the first game. But right. uh, well, you know, I don't know. You never see them. Like even even uh Metroid two, the game I love so much. Um according to the instruction manual, a different team was well, classic story. A different team was uh dispatched to to kill all the Metroids, but they were not heard from again. So Samus oh. went to take care of his. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, uh, and then, so the, uh, so not the Nintendo remake of Metroid 2, but the fan remake of Metroid 2, AM2R, they actually put that, you can find the, you can find those missing soldiers on the planet. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's cool. Wow. Yeah, no, I totally agree with you. I always thought that, like, the main theme of metroid was always like isolation because i feel like that's how i felt playing through like i mean i I know you talked about like you didn't really um play like super metroid at the time or whatever but when i played it like that's exactly the vibe i got it was just like isolation and like like the scenes where like you know the chozo or whatever like turned to dust and stuff and you're like oh my god a metroid got him i think like you walk in and it shows other life eating them or yeah. something i think when you walk in and then they just turn to dust or something oh. you just think about like this whole like planet's ecosystem and you know like what what animal i guess you could call them what animal fights what other animal what's the food chain like on this planet what kind of you know like do they like there's all that acid around that you can't touch but maybe they drink it like you gotta imagine that they would be you know equipped to survive on what is there whereas Mm -hmm. you're not you know like i think i i like that about metroid 2 in the way that the characters kind of look so foreign in a way because i what always bummed me about when people talk about aliens is they're always like oh he looked just like me only his head was kind of bigger and his skin was green it's like really <laughs> that's the best you do <laughs> <laughs> really it's, it's you but with the jaundice or whatever <laughs> <laughs> he got scurvy or something like you know like what do you what do you mean like the skin's discolored and he's got big eyes like okay but it's like what makes you think that on a separate planet like pe- like things would even see with eyes or that you know they would breathe like we breathe or that would they would need oxygen or you know like you don't know <laughs> Like, you don't know what life would be like on another planet or what they do or how they survive or what they, you know, maybe it's a photosynthesis kind of thing. Maybe they're breatharians. <laughs> maybe yeah, maybe yeah, they yeah. like legit are. <laughs> you know, instead of just like lying about it and eating hamburgers, maybe they legit <laughs> are breatharians. <laughs> they survive off of just breathing, you know? They travel across the galaxy to have a Burger King Whopper. You know, like, it'd be so crazy. Like, if you went to a different planet and saw like what life looked like there like if you seen like oh my god if you seen like planet earth and stuff like the documentary with david attenborough <laughs> i saw a special on deep sea life <sighs> oh my god some of, that stuff, some of that stuff is flat out of nightmares and it's like it's the same kind of stuff because they don't need any sort of light they don't need like any of the things that we need, humans need, you know? I think it makes you like look at like your dog differently too. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Cause you know, like you can look at your dog and you can be like, I can see myself in this creature. They have two eyes, they have a nose, they have a mouth, they have ears, and all pretty much oh, in the same yeah. placement that I do, you know? Like well, Holly's yeah. a She's a little person. <laughs> well said. She's <laughs> a little furry person. And she's a good girl. 
<laughs> being around Rushy makes me appreciate her <laughs> all he's the a, more. He's a big one. He's a big boy, and he whines. Oh, <laughs> that's right. He's still so young, huh? Oh my goodness! Like it never ended. It never ended all day. He just whine, 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 whine. Mm. Oof. <laughs> thank you for uh, thank you for joining me on this uh, on this uh, in this game. Yeah, yeah, it was fun. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I mean, I feel like um, I didn't get to really show my shiny blue too much. <laughs> oh yeah. Like that's fine though. Here I, I wore blue. <laughs> Look, I was Samus. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I got my blue shirt and I got, uh, oops, my full health up here did not help. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I can't believe I died on easy mode. Oh, that's okay, though. <laughs> I'm glad I put it on easy mode. Yikes. <laughs> right, yeah. Well, we didn't We didn't do the baby. We did one step up from the, the baby, so. The baby. That's right. Huh? Baby. <laughs> God, the baby. <laughs> oh, so you didn't I'm ask me. space mommy. So I told you uh, I spent, whatever, $6 and got Metroid Other M just because. Um, uh -huh. Ross was, he, my son was so excited to load it up. Oh, boy, a new Metroid game. Uh, I tried it out, too. It's, uh, uh, it's different. Um, there's, there's so much introduction. There's so much dialogue. There's tutorials. Right. And, right. I mean, uh, yeah. But uh, there's, a lot of, there's, there's a lot wrong with that game. But... But the uh, the one thing they got right was the What's running that? the running animation. Oh yeah, I loved that. Yeah, yeah. I can't emphasize enough. Like I, I want to play the game just to see her run. It's so good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was really cool. Yeah, I think um, I remember I didn't play it, but uh, I watched my ex play it, and yeah, I remember like one of the things that was weird was that like. Samus had to ask for permission to use anything. I was reading about that. So I was, uh, I was, uh, so, oh, that was one thing I was interested in. So playing it, playing it for myself, I knew, I knew about that from reviews, but I wanted to like experience for myself. Was it really as bad as, uh, as everyone says? And, uh, by experience it, by playing it myself, I can see what the designers, what the developers were going for. It's not a, terrible idea and they mm, I, I can't decide I'm right on the fence of whether or not they pulled it off well obviously <laughs> they didn't pull it off because everyone oh thinks it's God, stupid <laughs> I think it's just this side just the side of not being able to pull not pulling it off I think they they came really close though I, I can see if, what they're going for if, if if the if the armor looked different and they didn't call it Metroid <laughs> and in fact they called it space Quest three. Wait, Space Quest is definitely a game. Uh, space, right? space, Space Mother. <laughs> well, right, and it's like so. Mother Brain being a little girl wouldn't be a issue. No one would care, you know. Like Samus having to ask for permission, no one would care. Like everything could be excusable then if you just called it Space Ride two thousand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Prove. Hmm. I'm sad. <sighs> I don't know, That's amazing. man. The director, well, I can't remember his name, but the director of the Me Metroid series, he was asked if you could make any, if you could do, if you could redo uh, Metroid Other M, uh, would you make, what, what changes would you make? He said, nothing. It's, I wouldn't make a single change. Whoa. Oh my goodness. That re that man has zero self reflection, and that's sad. <laughs> that's very sad. I oh, mean, dear. you know, I can I mean, I can imagine if you yourself are satisfied with the work you did, but if I were to give him some advice, I would say, <laughs> call it Space Ride Two Thousand, <laughs> and just call the main character Diana, and she's got you know. Like, seriously, make her hair red, call her Diana, and put her in a blue suit, you know, blue armor, and it would be golden, you know? Because all the issues that people have with it is just the idea of, you know, it being changed, you know? I mean, 
Also, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> it doesn't make sense to me for Mother Brain to be a little girl. It, it was like, I, I forgot what the actual story was where it was like, oh, they programmed oh. Mother Brain into that girl or, or some, something like that. Oh, I should have known she had the MB hair clip that whole time. And it's like, who on earth would ever think of that? Like, <laughs> why, why would anyone dress like that? <laughs> especially anyone who had played a Metroid previously. <laughs> who would ever think mother brain, think the huge brain in the glass tube and be like, that little girl. <laughs> that one right there. That's mother brain. <laughs> Can you do the... Who would think that? Can you do no the... One... So sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. Can you do the voice from Captain N? <laughs> Oh my god, I think I'd be Samos. <laughs> I think that'd be cultural appropriation if I did that. <laughs> what what's her what's her voice in the show? Is well it just... it's it's very um what do they call it? Soulful. Really? Oh wow, okay. I mean she's clearly like a like a sassier woman and it definitely has a twang to the voice where I feel like I mean I don't know who the voice actress was that did Mother Brain, but I don't know. Like, I remember um, they asked Jaleel White about this because, you know, he's a black actor, famously Urkel, and he did Sonic the Hedgehog for many years. And they were asking him about, you know, um, the idea that does it make you happy that, like, Sonic was, like, black or something. I think they said something like that to him. And he was just saying that, you know... That Sonic is a character that goes beyond, like, race or something. And he's glad that, you know, people just enjoyed what? it. What? What? Are you watching Mother Brain stuff? I just looked up the voice actor. Mother oh. Brain is voiced by the American baritone singer man, Levi Stubbs. <laughs> what? what? Mother Brain is voiced by a man? Lead vocalist <laughs> from the Four Tops? Oh, he's like super famous. Go, dude. <laughs> he's getting that money, man. He oh, was done oh. all the money from the four tops and went to become mother free. He's it's the same. He he played a uh, he played a uh, little little shop of horrors. He was the voice of the plant. Uh, oh, mm-hmm. feed me, yeah, Seymour. Would, oh, yeah. Yeah, that would make a lot of sense. It was basically the same voice. Yeah. yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Well, that's that was not a trip. surprising. <laughs> Wow. That's not surprising. Very timely for that uh, cartoon. <laughs> and then, oh, uh, can my you goodness. Do, can you do Mega Man's voice? <laughs> Mega Man! It's like, <laughs> going to Mega Party, and we're going to do Mega things. I, I remember, like, he had a, one of the episodes that I used to watch all the time was Mega Man's birthday when Mega Girl showed up because I really wanted <laughs> to be Mega Girl. <laughs> yeah. And he was like, she's a girl. <laughs> Like, I don't want to play with her. He's a girl. And then they went to like um, this playland thing, and then Wiley called him a party pooper. And he was like party pooper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a great episode. And it started with Highway to the Danger Zone for some reason. <laughs> it's like it, it started out and it was like Highway to the Danger Zone. <laughs> Like, All right. it was like uh, a flat out, like, 80s song at the time, like, popular on the radio, like. I'm gonna have to look well, that up. <laughs> yeah, like, back then, that was when um, Princess Peach on the Mario show, there was, like, a comic where she had a Millie Vanilli shirt on or something. What? Okay. No, yeah, they went to the Millie Vanilli concert in Mario. <laughs> That's weird. Dun, dun, dun. Doing the Metroid sound effect. Like in the beginning. Yeah. What's the wait, like the baby like the baby crying? Yeah. It's going by the the it's going by the the container, and you hear like, <laughs> right, right, right. Uh, that's. Uh, can I make you? Can I baby. make you Samus? 
Oh, my head be on her body. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Hey, <laughs> you look just like her. <laughs> You're the true Samus. <laughs> I, I did it. You know, I always thought like making the armor would be super fun, but oh, gosh. I think I think it's just like way out of my ability range. That is crazy. So, in my opinion, Samus is one of those cosplays where, when it's good, it's really good, but when it's bad, <laughs> it's really. I don't. Bad. I don't know if that's true because yeah. I saw somebody. Um, at an Otakon once and they they had they were Samus and you know it wasn't like you know super super detailed but it still looked pretty good I remember like everybody was super thrilled to have them and they all wanted to take her picture like non-stop that's like, awesome yeah <laughs> so I mean you know I think, like, Samus, when I think about it like cosplay in general Samus is a showstopper man you either show up with a skin tight suit on and everyone's taking your picture or you're so huge that people can't get around you and everyone's taking your picture <laughs> like basically if you're gonna be samus <laughs> oh my god you're gonna be samus you're gonna be stopping traffic at a con <laughs> there's no way <laughs> one way or another yeah, uh, yeah there's no way you're just showing up as samus and nobody cares <laughs> oh yeah, I've seen wow. so many like really awesome Samus cosplays. That's awesome. But yeah, I feel like at this point, there's so many like cosplayers that you know, like their whole house is basically like just a cosplay studio, and they have like all those 3D printers, and they're just printing up perfect replicas of all this stuff, and it's like that's so far out of my range of <laughs> what I could do. Like I would look at those like uh armor pieces on her and be like, oh, I'll go get a bowl at the dollar store <laughs> like, and like try to cut it and then like try to sand it down and make it kinda look like that. And maybe I could get it to kinda look like that. But it wouldn't look as nice as if I had a three D printed perfect, you know, replica. I mean, you know. Alright, alright, right. <laughs> I'm just a girl. <laughs> I was always just a girl from a random place and you know the other cosplayers were like in LA like trying to get into movies and stuff and I was just a girl. <laughs> I was just a random girl from a random town. <laughs> oh man. I love dressing up as uh Jurassic Park Dr. Alan Grant last year. Yeah, are you going to do it again? This year, no, I don't know. I don't. What's a? I don't think I have any other uh, uh, fictional characters. I was really excited to. I can think of that. I'm really excited to dress up as. Maybe Doctor Who. I'd love to be Doctor Who sometime. Yeah, I thought you sent me um, pictures once of you dressed up as. A... I did. I I borrowed <laughs> the outfit from a friend. Oh. It uh, it didn't fit me at all. Like the back was all clipped together. <laughs> oh. That's well, yeah. <laughs> well, that was fun then. At least, at least you got yeah. to try it on and stuff. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, mm. I mean, you know, I don't, I don't really do like Halloween like much anymore. I and you saw, I have like the Bonnie hat <laughs> and the red thirteen hat that I could like that the huge fur heads. You do have the huge fur head. <laughs> Oh, Bonnie from uh, Five Nights at Freddy's? Right, yeah. Oh, my gosh. We did, like, a, a spooky game day. <laughs> Instead you... of showing up as, like, some sexy witch or something, I'm just Bonnie. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, let's go. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That would, I uh... mean, you never know. Maybe Bonnie can make a guest appearance. Right, yeah. That We're would be playing... cool. I can't play Five Nights at Freddy's, though. Why not? I'd freak out. Can you play that game? <laughs> I mean, I did play it. I think I did play like night one and I was so terrified. <laughs> like what do you think? literally nothing happened and I was terrified. <laughs> I was like, nothing happened, but tomorrow something's definitely going to happen. So I'm not playing anymore. <laughs> 
What'd you think no. of, uh, what'd you think of, uh, Metroid Doom? Oh, uh, it was amazing. Well, I mean, yeah. was it, uh, how's the scariness level? Oh, scariness level? Um, I don't know if the scariness level, uh, was there for me, but I couldn't hear the audio, so. Oh, yeah. Oh. I think that might have added to the scariness. Yeah. And also, I think, you know, watching a scary movie or game versus playing it is like two totally different things That's because it. anything that jumps out and scares you won't have the same effect on me you know that's understandable yeah um oh my gosh i think the coolest thing that you didn't uh that uh the music's incredible in the game all the sound effects are straight from the original the official games i think one of the coolest things is when you go in the water and shoot your gun there's this, it sounds like you're in a pool of water, the way that, like the, the gunshots echo around. Oh, oh really? So good. Yeah. That's cool, yeah. So cool. <laughs> pew, pew, pew. So instead of pew, 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 it's like, pew, pew, pew. Oh, nice. Just a little demonstration. <laughs> yeah, sounds good.